What's up Golf News? Welcome back. In today's video, we're back on the golf course for the first time in weeks. Last time I played, I shot a 119 and it was awful. So what did I do? I went and got a lesson. Do golf lessons help? Well, today we're gonna find out. Keep in mind, I haven't been playing, I haven't been practicing, I've been sick as a dog for the last week and a half. Uh, I have not had a chance to get to the driving range or the golf course since I took said lesson, but I have been practicing a lot at the house, so hopefully I'm starting to ingrain some of the right ideas. And we'll see if golf lessons help or if buying new drivers helps. We got uh, 214 left on a fairly long par four. 369 so it shouldn't be that long but it's a little uphill and uh we got some wind to contend with today and we got what five inches of rain yeah five inches of rain over two days kind of makes it a little soppy <laughs> but i will say this for the babe this course drains remarkably well yeah considering we've had five inches of rain you would not know it i mean this place is really in pretty decent shape so one of the things we worked on in my lessons was fixing my posture you know I just got me with my butt out, trying to keep my back straighter. I got this forward shoulder roll that's just death that we've been trying to fix. And then just trying to work on keep, keeping my hand action right, trying to keep this right palm pointed more toward the ground. And your head straight. And my head still, yeah. <laughs> that's a big one. straight pretty solid five iron i will take that <laughs> not quite not quite where we wanted to go but in the general direction we're playing golf we're advancing the ball that's better than what i was doing pre-lesson all right stick around all right guys we're back gonna show you a little driver swing still working on the stuff from the lesson trying to see how it transposes so i've been on this nasty double triple double triple double triple well we finally broke the curse i just bogeyed the last hole and i would have had a par if i would have not towed my putter so good things seem to be happening let's see if we can keep them going and stay tuned to the end of the video i'm going to introduce you to my coach unless this doesn't end well then we'll spare him <laughs> <laughs> Dallas told me to aim at the tree, so I aimed at the tree. That's where it went. <laughs> but I think that's all right, guys. Today's video we're gonna blend hole in one watch with do golf lessons work? Early survey says yes, golf lessons could really help your game. I'm off to a pretty good start today. Bogeyed the last two holes. My putter's not quite gotten hot yet, it's still asleep. We get my putter to wake up a little bit. Those bogeys are gonna turn into pars. That makes two of us. <laughs> yeah, Dallas has been fighting the putter a bit today. Everything else in his bag has been lightning good, but been fighting the putter just a smidge. Stayed short of the bunker, so at least that's good. <laughs> uh, there's the key. I used the broken one. It's the longest. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see what we got. Not that jump. Pound of flesh. <laughs> he said bounce right and it went straight because he's an asshole. <laughs> You're gonna have to help me edit that out now. <laughs> the whole video is full of cuss words. <laughs> you see YouTube now. Strike one, strike two, strike three. You're fired. 
Thanks. I pulled it again, but. Actually, you did. You were kind of aimed that direction. Oh, was I? Yeah. All right. So Dallas knows my game really well. He's helping me, you know, feel is not real. So we're getting it on video, and Dallas is here critiquing. So we can kind of see what, if I'm doing the things that the coach has got me working on it. So far, I, I think it's safe to say I really am. I'm not perfect, I'm not right where I need to be, but I'm getting closer. And after just one lesson and no practice time because I was ill, I'd say that's pretty good results. Oh yeah, that hill saved your bacon. Yes it did. I'm also gonna include later in the video, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna include a video from our lesson. You're gonna see the difference that he made in one simulator session in my golf swing and we got it all on tape. So make sure you stick around for that. Uh, I guess you guys can stick around for this because technically we're on birdie watch for me for the first time today. This guy over here has been on birdie watch all morning. and But he won't stop three putting. <laughs> okay, two and three putting. How about that? Uh, definitely picking up some mud on the golf balls today. We got five inches of rain in the Tampa area over the last couple days. Beautiful shot, check. Good shot, Dallas. Okay guys, if you're new to golf, you don't wanna walk between the ball and the flag, don't walk in somebody's line. You guys right around here and let's see what happens. Oh man, that is a long putt. How far do you think this is? Uh, it's probably 35 feet, I would say. You can tell how windy it is by the camera shaking. <laughs> He's got it on a tripod and it's still wobbling back and forth. No putting touch whatsoever. <laughs> Absolute garbage. <sighs> About to fall into a putting slump. I guess I shouldn't have changed my putter grip. <laughs> Dallas can drain one for a par. About a three putt bogey, guys. Oh, God. That's not my coach's fault. That's my fault for being an idiot. No touch, no distance control, no, no aligning the putter, no just absolute short game garbage. Uh. All right, guys. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for us. Uh, we've showed you guys some swings. We've, we've seen what we've been working on. Um, remember stick around check the uh, description at the end uh, give you my coaches details in case you're in the Dade City or Tampa Bay area might be worth going to see my boy Casey McDonald over at the cave all right till next time golf new bout recording yep all right on right when he came in on the left is what we're working on you can see we got your butt sticking out a little bit more so much better posture it is if you're a little slouchy yeah. On the right, you're kind of rolling the club face open. That means you're taking it back. You're rolling the face open like this. But we should feel like we're going more palm down going back. Okay. Uh, there's your John Daly we're talking about. <laughs> Lifting of the arms. On the left, we're going right palm down. As soon as you feel like the left shoulder hits your chin, stop. Okay. Okay? And when we're doing that, we're cutting your swing in half. As you can see, the difference. Yeah. Big time difference. Now, what I really like when I put the noodle here... It is called shallowing you out or drop it into the slot. You can see on the right, here's where you start throwing the club, throwing the club way over the top. 
I put the noodle there. You can see this, look how beautiful the shelling it out is underneath the green line instead of over the green line, okay? So feel like you're swinging more out towards second baseman, one o'clock instead of 11 o'clock, as you can see, 11 o'clock here, that's where you get all jammed up, okay? Let's keep on swinging more out towards second baseman, one o'clock, we're getting there, we're swinging underneath the noodle. Look how straight that is. Wow. And here you're coming over the top, that would've been a big slice. Yeah. <laughs> so keep, keep on shutting that club face going back, left shoulder, hit your chin, feel like you're swinging underneath the noodle, release the club so we don't get jammed as much. And just keep doing that, practice like that. Okay.